Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is Mark, welcome back to our FIFA 21 Hamburger Road to Glory career mode. It's been over a month now and uh, we are finally back. You've probably seen the time of this video and just gone, oh hang on, that looks a bit, it looks a bit long. And uh, that's because we're doing an entire season to make up for the lack of videos. Um, I'm just going to point it out why I haven't been, I haven't uploaded for the past month. Um, England is now in like lockdown 3 or 4 or something and this has been the one that I've really struggled with. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Um, it's It's been the one where it's really caught up with me. Um, I've been relatively fine through the first, you know, the, the first few lockdowns that we've had. And it's quite annoying that I've had to say a few lockdowns. Um, but this one has really like caught up with me and uh, I've just had no no real motivation to do this um, but uh, we're back and uh, we're, we're gonna rattle through an entire season of games to uh, to make up for it and try and get me back in the in the mood um, to, uh, to to finish this um, also I've had a few problems with me Elgato as well so that's been a that's been a pain in the ass um, but I won't bore you with that um, but yeah, we are going to do an entire season of games. We're going to start it off with this one, uh, Hamburg v Lazio. And then, you know, we're going to play every single, probably going to show you every group game. And then I'm just going to play some games every now and then uh, just to, uh, you know, just to see how we do. And I'll probably come in every now and then with a bit of a, a, bit of a quip, a bit of a line. Uh, a bit of a joke. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how we do it. But this, it, it, I haven't started it yet. But this normally takes long. So um, I hope you enjoy. Oh, I hope it was worth it. Uh, so yeah, let's not mess about. I haven't even looked at what games for where. I've not looked. I haven't even looked at where we are in the table yet. To be honest, um, we're just gonna let it run. So I hope you enjoy this. We are back. And uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe if you do go on to enjoy it. I'll probably say that at the end as well. Thanks for sticking with me. Let's get into these massive block of games. I don't know whether they're massive yet. I haven't recorded them. I don't know if there's any decent highlights. It'll be a shame if, if there isn't any highlights, wouldn't it? All right, the first game of these massive highlights, we welcome Lazio to the Volkspark Stadion in the Champions League. And you see Jada here playing it up the pitch, up towards Iago Aspas. Aspas got a man to beat, and he does that just right. Dinks in the middle for Meza Ozil on the volley, smashes it into the bottom corner. The first goal of many in these highlights, trust me. And now Ozil looking to get us forward here as he plays it up the field towards Iago Aspas. Aspas just being forced wide by the defender, but he does want to back heel it to Guerrero. A touch shot. Oh, it's a great hit, but it's an even better save. Really shocking throwing here from Lazio as Jatta intercepts that. Aspas picks it up, gives it back to Jatta. It's a lovely give and go between these. He puts it in the middle towards Ozil. Oh, I don't know how that stayed out, to be honest, but we're coming forward again here. Non stop. Ozil again, lovely ball. That's a typical Ozil ball. Aspas gets on it, looks around the keeper, but the keeper doesn't fall for it, and the chance fizzles out as the keeper. Catches it. Ozil again here. He's pulling the strings in the middle. He's setting Aspas off on a run. And he's done that. Lovely. Oh, Aspas has let it roll. Got a man to beat. Rolls inside. Bang! It's a lovely finish from Iago Aspas to wrap the three points up. Look at Aspas. He is selling his man. See you later. Drills it into the bottom corner. Lovely finish. And that is how that one finished. Not a bad start to our Champions League group. And we'll move on to another Champions League game. Probably the most difficult game in the group. It's not probably. It is the most difficult game of the group. We're heading all the way over to Anfield as we're taking on Liverpool. So as you can see from this first highlight, my game plan was keep the ball. Because if we keep the ball... We can't concede and maybe we can spring something here as Kamavinga looks to bring it forward. Lays it off to Iago Aspas. Aspas has got Ozil making a run. Rounds Allison. Can you believe it? Six minutes into the game and we have the lead. And I'm not too sure about this celebration to be honest. I'm, ju I'm just going to skip it for your own to save you the embarrassment lads. Anfield eerily quiet right now. Look at this. Ozil see you later son. Ozil there doing what winners do. 
perform on the big occasions. And we're looking to spring forward again here as Kamavinga spreads that wide towards a Timmy Boy Leopold up against a man he's looking to drag inside. Tries to back heel but that's all wrong and now Goretzka can maybe get Liverpool away. For me, no, you've got the run of Mo Salah there and he is attempting to use him as he picks it up just on the wing here. Obviously, he's going to get past his man but this is why I've kept this highlight in. That tackle right there from Tim Leopold. He gives the ball away but he runs 70 yards up the other end of the pitch to win it back and it's that tackle of mentality that we love here as Kamavinga is sprinting forward he's spreaded that wide to Sonny Kittle in a ton of space floats it towards the back post for Iago Aspas but he can't score against his former team and it's Ruben Neves here going to pick this ball up on the edge of the box what can he do with it Firmino Goretzka lovely player Firmino now with his back to goal lays it off to Neves goes for the strike but that is over and we are reducing Liverpool to pot shots from outside the area we are defending for our lives and now we're going to try and play out from the back here as Manolas pings that up the field we're going to try and play that once around the corner, but it wasn't to be. And now maybe Liverpool can spring forward. Neves up the field to Mane. It's a lovely strike. He's hit the bar. We get away with that. Wagner man just going to whack that up the pitch. But again, it is going to come back as you're right. Pings that forward towards Sadio Mane. Again, infield towards Firmino. We block the first one. And now maybe we can spring forward. Marcus Antonio picks that up. Ozil back to him. 1-2 up towards Iago Aspas. Aspas now back to Marcus Antonio. Pulling the strings in this attack. And now Ozil has peeled into some space, edge of the box, Alisson comes out just a little bit, Ozil spots it, I don't know why I went for the dick to be honest, I don't know why, I could have easily took that forward, <laughs> Jeremy Dudziak on the pitch, his first thing to do is to put this corner into the middle, right under the head of Iago Aspas, against his former team, Iago Aspas, 80 minutes in, we are 2-0 up at Anfield and it looks like we are going away with the three points and now here's Takumi Minamino, Liverpool now have to do something with it if they want to salvage a point, but Tim Leopold's having none of it. Steals the ball back. Kittle, that's a dodgy pass. Mane, what a block from Costas Manolas. We are defending for our lives and we look to get away. Jana to Jeremy Dudziak. We've got men in the middle. It's a lovely ball up towards Marcus Antonio. He's got Iago Aspas in the middle. Would you believe it? 3-0. It's a famous night in the history of Hamburg and that is a quality screenshot right there. What is here, performance, 3-0, 2 from Aspas, that is how that one finishes, a massive win in the group stages, a massive win in the history of Hamburger SV, and we'll move on back to league action, and we're taking on Leipzig after that famous old win, I don't actually want to talk about this one. I know what I know exactly what happens. I don't know what I was doing with Leobold there. With Sam Ben Yedder picks this up, he sells Van Drongel and pulls it back to Inyaki Williams, and it's 1-0 seven minutes in. Crashing down to earth is the expression. Made the first mistake with Leobold. I've made the second one there. Oh, it's just it's just a it's just a calamity. Alright, let's see if we get back into this thing. Kamavinga picks it up with his back to goal. It's lovely play, lovely ball to get that up to Kittle. He wants to get it onto his right. It's a great hit, but it's just wide of the target there. But now RB Leipzig with the ball in the offensive third. And Naki Williams and Wissam Ben Yedda up towards Tyler Adams. He's got a load of space to just walk into. The pass is off. Manalas can clear, but it's a terrible clearance. And Wissam Ben Yedda just flicks it up. Goes for the strike. He's taking the piss. Yet again, Manalas' clearance just doesn't go anywhere. And Tyler Adams into Naki Williams. And now Lloris can come out and just take the pressure off because we are being battered. Leipzig have it here with their fullback players in field to Tyler Adams. Adams now to Wissam Ben Yedda. Adams has continued the run. Nobody tracking him. First time it's a lovely hit to be fair. Can't even take the finish away from him. What a strike. 2-0 down. We just need something. We just need a goal to get the belief back up. Ozil pulls it back and uh, it's just it's just been one of those days. Dudziak now plays it wide to Leopold and now Kittle has sprung the offside trap and look in the middle, Iago Aspas in a ton of space, Kittle picks him out one on one and it's just not happening. <laughs> Leipzig again now as Sarloth pings that over the top to Mukiele. He's hit that first time for some reason. Bender away only as far as Alexander Sarloth who goes down like a sack of shit. And it's Wissam Ben Yedder here to take the penalty up against Hugo Lloris to win the game pretty much. If he scores this there'll be no coming back from it. Up against Lloris and would you believe it the cheeky little bastard has been anchored it. God I hate you. <laughs> and one final nail in the coffin as Soloth plays it to Nkunku. Nkunku somehow manages to get that across to Ben Yedder who is as free as a bird. Has the entirety of Leipzig to pick his space and that is how that one finished. 4-0. What a disaster. <laughs>
Alright lads, terrible performance, but right now we've got to put that to the back of our heads because now we have to start our defence of the DFB Pokal and we start that away at Schalke. The boys in blue looking to play out from the back, but Ozil does well to spring forward and win the ball back. He's got Aspas making a run and now he's one-on-one. -on -one. He's beat the offside trap. What's he going to do? Pick his space outside of the foot. Calm as you like. Not a bad way to start our defence. Not much else happened in this game, so we're going to skip forward all the way at the 70th minute as Philip here beats, I think it was Rick Van Drongelen to the ball. Now it's Mark Uth, plays it to Edouard. I don't know how that's got through to Max Philip, but he makes no mistake of the finish, absolutely drilling it into the bottom left corner. A grass cutter right along the ground. And now as our Kamavinga plays that off to Urzo, good first touch, he's tried to find the top corner, but it's not to be as now Schalke defending for their lives. The keeper's going to pick up this ball. There is full time. So, we move to extra time plus penalties if required. It's not required though, we can just get this done in the extra 30 minutes. But Max Phillip picks up the front post and Rick Van Drongelen has to get a block. And now Hugo Lloris looking to get us away. Absolutely fantastic distribution to find Bakary Jatta. And he takes that touch and he's just going to run. He's just going to run. He's just going to get his head down. He's going to pick across back post towards Sonny Kale on the volley. Back across and we take the lead in extra time. It's all about Bakary Jatta that move. The way he just got his head down. It's a lovely cross. And Sonny Kittle, great volley, great composure. Ricky J. Jones now just on the pitch, going to hold the ball up well. Play it forward to Bakary Jad. He's going to ping this in first time towards Mesut Ozil and he's won it! Mesut Ozil makes it 3-1 with his big noggin and uh, it, there's no way back for Schalke now and uh, I just don't know why we couldn't do it in normal time, to be honest. Bakary Jad with his second assist and it's another great ball and I'm, how, how many headers has Ozil scored? Like, I, I don't think of him as a heading specialist, to be honest. So now Schalke know if they want to get anything from this cup tie, they need to push men forward as Uthia picks it up and turns. It's a lovely save by Hugo Lloris, that. So as we move into injury time of extra time, we are forward, so the game is done. But can we get one more? Dudziak lays it through to Ricky J. Jones. It's a good save from the keeper. And that is how that one finished. 3-1, and we are through to the next round, which we will show later on. But... Up next, it's one of the big boys. We're away at Signal Aduna Park to take on that yellow wall and Borussia Dortmund. Erling Holland here spreads it wide to Jaden Sancho, and this is what he can do. Look at this. We just we we don't put a foot in in case he goes down. Luckily for us, Hugo Lloris was there to deny him from scoring at the near post as Leobold lays that off to Sonny Kittle. Kittle. It's a good ball in, good area, but the defender can head that away. But Leobold wins the header. Marcus Antonio to Camavinga. Camavinga touch. Puts it off to Iago Aspas, who hits it low and hits it true into the back of the net. Look what it means to him. Look what it means to the rest of the boys. Could we? Could we? Good play to keep the ball alive and Kamavinga there. Look, at, I'm surprised Aspas is in that much space, to be honest. It's not the best defending, but we're not complaining. <laughs> Hazard here laying it off to Julian Brandt. Ball rolls inside his man, taps it off to Chiesa. Goes for the shot, but it's a great block from Tim Leobold. Jatta here pinging it forward towards Kamavinga. Kamavinga into Ozil. Ozil to Marcus Antonio. He takes a touch. Goes for the strike, but it's a good save from Berkey to tip that around. And from the following corner, it's a good area towards Iago Aspas. And he's there for his second of the game. Hamburger are turning into corner specialists. Especially Iago Aspas. Look at this. Just picks up space in the middle. Bang. Maybe Berkey could be doing better. Reaction's not the best. But again, we're not complaining. <laughs> and Dortmund get one back before half-time. Chiesa lays it off to Sancho. Chiesa's carried on his run. Goes for that first time, but Hugo can tip that around. No way past him. Brandt now spreading that wide towards Hazard in quite a bit of space here. And Brandt carried on his run. Nice and brave from Hugo there. Get out. Make yourself look big. Dortmund corner now pinged in. Agu gets there. He does go down, but he does well to get up. Tries to go for it again. Holland in a bit of space. Good save from Hugo. Ref gives a penalty. Don't ask why. So we're headed into the 90th minute as Holland slots that away into the bottom left corner. They look to get the ball. They look to get going. However, it wasn't to be. And we pick up a massive win at Dortmund. Oh, that's the type of stuff that we live for. So after beating one of the big teams, let's face the other straight away. Away again, this time against Bayern Munich. Let me tell you about my game plan in this game. My game plan, as you're going to see, is attack down the left. 
with Tim Leobald and Sonny Kittle. Tim Leobald here just going to walk his way to the byline, trying to pull out Iago Aspas, but Manny Neuer can get down well, and here we go again. Down the left side, Leobald, good ball in towards Aspas again. Neuer's there. I'm telling you, left-hand side. It was working a treat. Yet again, Tim Leobald down this left-hand side, picks out another good cross. This time, Shaw gets in the way. Aspas wins the header. Manny Neuer's there. Reese James, he's going to take this throw in and it's going to result in some good passing play here as Fabinho uh, taps that back to James. James to Gnabry, Gnabry to Vijnaldum. He looks to turn, but Kamavinga takes the ball off him and now we look to break away. Marcos Antonio to Ozil. Ozil, lovely pass. And again, we're going down the left-hand side. Look at the back post. You've spotted him. I've spotted him. Bakary Chatter! What is going on with this hamburger side? We are producing some of the biggest upsets we've ever seen. Shoot we're not going to do it again as Bayern here coming forward with Serge Gnabry he's got a man in the middle Rick van Drongelen trying to keep an eye on him Gnabry just going to walk it in field he's walked past Gnabry Hugo Lloris there out quick right at the feet Hugo Lloris has turned into a bit of a world beater Kimmich to Lewandowski and again right at Hugo Lloris Bayern really turned on the pressure after we scored, didn't they? Uh, Jamie Vardy now playing for Bayern into Fabinho. Fabinho to Kimmich. Kimmich to Vijnaldum. Vijnaldum back to Kimmich and it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, dear. <laughs> Just need to be careful this doesn't swing the momentum entirely. I mean, I say that the momentum has been swung ever since we scored. It's been all Bayern as they get a free kick here with Sane. He whips that in the middle. Kimmich gets his head on it, but Hugo can catch that. And would you believe it? We picked up a point, and I'll take that. I will happily take a point. Four points from Bayern and Dortmund. Happily, happily take that. All right, so we'll move on to the next game. And the next game was actually our final Champions League group game as we welcome Liverpool to a very snowy Volkspark Stadion. Coming now, picking the ball up, plays it forward to Iago Aspas. The space Marcus Antonio's got. He's going to take a touch and he's going to strike it from the edge of the box, but he's rattled the woodwork. And now we've got Sadio Mane in a lot of space running forward. He's laid it off to Mo Salah and he's going to bury that 10 minutes in. Liverpool take the lead. Again, about to cause us some problems down this left-hand side. Nobody able to mark him, but Manalas there does well to stick a foot in and absolutely boot that down the line. It's a good pass out to find Bakary Jada in a lot of space, and you know what he's going to do. He's just going to run, just going to run, get into a crossing position, pick out Sonny Kittle at the back post. It's a lovely counter-attack. Mauro Cardi here with his back to goal, taps this off to Ruben Neves, into Robertson, and that is a lovely, delicate little finish from a left-back. You'll see him on the left-hand side of your screen, just coming to picture now, look at this, nobody picking him up, and it's calm, it's a lovely finish from a left-back, I know I just said that, but it's, it's really, it's nice. Ozil here, going to pick this up, turn and pick a pass towards Sonny Kill, absolutely delightful, and you know what he wants to do from this situation, corn to his right, go for the curler, but Alisson can just catch that, like it was the easiest shot in the world, and that is how how that one finished a 2-1 loss against Liverpool in our final Champions League group game. But we'll actually see how that affected the table. It didn't do anything because we topped the group. <laughs> I still don't know how we managed to do that, to be honest. And I'll let you know who we got very, very soon. But right now, it is back to Bundesliga action as we welcomed Bayer Leverkusen to the Volkspark Stadion. Bakary Jada here going to ping that into Mesut Ozil. Ozil to Marcus Antonio. Antonio up to Ricky J. Jones. One on one. You know what he's going to do. He's going to fin... He's, he's missed. I, I'm not used to saying that. But we're coming forward again here. Wagnerman taps that off to Bakary Jada. Jada just going to bring this infield. Lays it off to Ricky J. Jones. He's not going to miss that one. <laughs> Bakary Jatter's having a good season. And he, look at this, just walks in field, picks out Ricky J. Jones on the swivel. Fuck you. He was annoyed at missing that first one. <laughs> Leverkusen now attacking down the right as Pavard pings that infield to Morata. His touch isn't the best. Wagnerman can bicycle kick clear that for some reason. And now we can maybe break away. Marcus Antonio got Rafael Guerrero on the left and he uses him as he taps it infield to Meza Ozil. Going to keep going. Cut inside. Tries to curl it towards the bottom corner, but it's just wide of the post. Guerrero now in field to Marcus Antonio. Antonio up the field to Meza Ozil. Ozil going to take a touch. Look at Ricky J. Jones in the middle. I've spotted him. You've spotted him. Calm as you like. Good interplay by Bayer Leverkusen here. It's going to end with Isco tapping that off to Marcus Edwards who goes for the shot. But that's a good save from Hugo and Wagnerman can get that away. And now Morata in the box. He's looking to pick an option and he does an Isco. Lovely turn. Goes for the strike. Hugo can hold that. And that is how that one is going to finish. Good 2-0 win that uh, against decent opponents. And we'll move on to the next game as we welcome Hoffenheim to the Volkspark Stadion. 
Going to be Hoffenheim with the first attack. He is on relays that up, but it's a lovely block from Kostas Manalas. And from the following corner, it's drilled towards the front post for Berardi. It's a good header, but it is wide of the post. Now, finally, we can get the possession. Ozil up towards Iago Aspas. One on one. Law, it's a good save. Ozil now with the ball. You'll see the midfield man making a run, and that has opened the space for Iago Aspas, and he's going to use that to full effect. It's a good run. You'll see him there. Look at this. Just dragging the defender away, and that opens it up for Aspas. Pass, who can take a touch and pick his spot. Hoffenheim here looking to play up from the back as Fernandez here towards Henri. What a fantastic first time ball that is. It's through towards his strike partner but it's a great tackle by Van Drongelen to stop him dead. Kamavinga do well to keep the ball. He taps it off to Marcus Antonio who goes to Jatta. Jatta with a lot of work to do but he does it well. Tries to drill it towards the bottom corner but it's wide of the post. Now we're coming forward again here as Iago Aspas looking for his options. He's got one in Sonny Kittle. Good pass to find him. Good first First time strike, 2-0 to Hamburger. That should be game set match. Ori now to Fernandez. You'll see us there hunting in packs as Guerrero wins that ball back. Plays it up the field to Kittle. Kittle first time to Marcus Antonio. And Marcus Antonio just going to bring this forward. Wait for the pass. And he's got it now in Iago Aspas. Aspas back to Marcus Antonio. Antonio now to Sonny Kittle. Good possession play from us. Taps it back off to Marcus Antonio who just has hold of the ball quite a lot. Sonny Kittle to Kamavinga. Lovely break. What a goal that was. Venga ball. Berg ball, we call it now. And that is how that one finished. A good 3-0 win. And we'll move on to the next round of the DFB Pokal. We've got a draw against them this season. And now we're looking to go one better. If you figured it out, you figured it out. It's Bayern Munich again. This time, we were not fannying about with looking for a point. It's a cup game. We've got nothing to lose. Balls to the wall. But again, we are going down this left-hand side as Guerrero picks out Camavinga. Why not go for a bicycle kick? All right, so Bayern now have the ball in the wing. He's going to cut back late in field to Joshua Kimmich. Kimmich now looks to get past his man. He does that. Gnabry lays it off to Maxi. Good save by Hugo Lloris. And uh, they can't quite make anything of the rebound. Right, so we look like we're attacking down the left, and so do they. Batista Maia now on the left wing does really well at cut inside. Taps it off to Kimmich, but Van Drongelen could just take the sting out of that shot. And now Sane again. Bayern Munich on their left-hand side as well, but it's a great tackle from Joshua Wagnermann. And now maybe we can get away with Bakary Jatta here. Jatta just going to slow it down, wait for Ozil. Ozil there, peeled away from his man. Little bit to do, but he's done really well to find the bottom corner with a low drilled finish. This is our competition. We love it. Chatter with a good ball to find Ozil. Ozil still a bit of work to do, but he does really well to finish it off from there. And now Tim Leopold drills that in field to Iago Aspas. Good ball. Aspas taps it off to Kamavinga. One on one. Oh, he's put it right at Manny Neuer there. And now Marcus Antonio again. Ozil, great first time pass. The defenders missed it. Now Guerrero's got a bit of a free cross and he drills it off to Aspas, who absolutely leathers it into the top left corner to give us a nice two goal buffer in this corner. Up and tie. You'll see that the defender missed the tackle. That gives Guerrero the space. He's pulled it back to Iago Aspas, and there's no mistake about it. No placement, just hit it. And that is how that one finished. A really good result for us in the cup. We've knocked one of the big boys out, and we love the DFB Pokal here. We absolutely love it. We're trying to go back to back. All right, so that's how that one finished. A quality cup tie for us. And uh, this is just a little bit of an update. There was transfer deadline day. I don't have any footage of it, but I brought in Joe Willock, uh, the Arsenal player now on loan at Newcastle. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I don't have any footage of it. But here, yeah, well, I'm just going to explain. He's a free agent. He's the only signing I made. Free agent, so it didn't cost me anything. He's on about 15 grand a week on wage. So I've just thought I'd explain that in case you see his name pop up and wonder why is he there. All right, so update over. Let's get back into the games. And yes, we are taking on Bayern Munich again, this time in the league. Lewandowski now tapping this off to Batista Meyer, who's driving forward. Look at this. He's got all the space in the world. He manages to slow it down. Taps it off to Lewandowski. Good save by Hugo Lloris. Lewandowski again now on the halfway line. Rick Van Drongelen does really well to get a foot in. And Manalas pounces on the loose ball. Pings it up the field towards Iago Aspas. Aspas first time to Ozil. Ozil first time to Bakary Jatta. No real options in the middle. So he's going to play it off to Aspas. Aspas to Ozil. Ozil one on one. And for the second game in a row, Mesut Ozil gives us the lead against Bayern Munich. Lovely first time passing between this front three here. Look at this. Bang, bang. Bang, three touches from wing to goal. And now let me show you some defensive work. Lewandowski in the middle, first shot blocked, second shot blocked, third shot blocked. We are defending for our lives. 
And now Marcus Antonio to Kamavinga. Kamavinga up to Urzel. Urzel to Iago Aspas. Aspas now just going to drive forward a little bit. Got this defender on strings. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Urzel here going to tap that off to Kamavinga. Kamavinga now what can he do? Urzel's carried on a run. Mesut Urzel with the most unlikely Mesut Urzel finish. It's not many times he just smashes a ball. Look at this. Kamavinga there holds it up. Finds Urzel. Whack. I tell you what, he doesn't do that often. We're 2-0 up against Bayern Munich, but we want more Bakary Jatta. What a pass that is to find Rafa Guerrero on the other side. He's looking to cut inside. There's no real options with him right now. Now there is. Urzel to Aspas. First time. Good save by Manny Neuer. Kingsley Corman now finds Genie Vinaldum. Vinaldum lays it off to Lewandowski. It's that first time, but Lloris can tip that over the bar. And from the following corner, Kimmich puts it in towards the back post for Lewandowski, and he can head in to make it a very nervous final 15 minutes. Douglas Costa now running down the wing, cuts back, lays it infield to Lewandowski. Lewandowski looking for a pass. He's got pass his man dinked ball into Batista Meyer. Thankfully, he fluffs that chance. And now Kamavinga holding onto the ball up to Iago Aspas. Aspas to Willock. Willock, lovely little dummy to get away. Looks to cut inside onto his right foot. Great strike. It's a good save by Manny Neuer, though. Now or never for Bayern Munich. Added time is up. They've got to go forward. But we force them back, and the referee will blow his whistle. A wonderful 2 1 win. We've beaten both Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich this season. Oh, I don't know what that noise was, but oh. All right, let's take a little bit of a break from Bundesliga action. Let's go to Champions League action where we can have a nice, easy time in the round of 16. Fucking hell, we've drew Real Madrid. So, no, no rest, no rest. So, we're away from home in the first league. So, if we can just not get battered and maybe sneak an away goal, that would be the perfect result. There's Valverde here, keeps the ball well. Manila sticks a foot, but he does manage to keep the ball. But Hugo can tip that around. And now, Casemiro with the ball up to Varane, who's in a very attacking position, who lays it off to Memphis to pie. And that is not the start we wanted. God knows why Varane is in that position, but it's a good ball to find Memphis. And he absolutely slams it into the bottom left corner. So now Iago Aspas coming forward, got Urzel to his left, and now Urzel gives it back to Iago Aspas, who's looking to keep hold of the ball, and he does that, and he's got Kamavinga, who's going to strike it from the edge of the box, and that is a vital, vital away goal that Kamavinga has just gotten us. What a hit as well, look at this, just lays it off to him, touch, bang, Great strike straight into the bottom corner. So now Real Madrid coming forward. Memphis Depay up to Fede Valverde. Vagdeman with an absolutely sensational block. Bit of pinball. It drops to Vlasic. He puts it in the back of the net. But thankfully for us, the linesman has his flag up. Audrey Azola now with the ball on the wing. He's going to try and drill this towards the front post. But Rick Van Drongelen is there. Heads it away. Only as far as Vlasic. It's a great strike. But an equally great save. And now Tim Leobold is going to pick this pass up inside his own half. And he's just going to sprint all the way down. All the way into the opposition half. He's going to pick out Sonny Kittle now. Sonny Kittle probably could have passed it off, but he's took it a bit too wide. And Courtois is equal to the shot. And now Jatta with the ball. He's got Wagnerman on the overlap. And it's a great pass to unleash. Josha Wagnerman down the wing. He's going to hit this first time in the middle towards Marcus Antonio. Headed towards goal. But Courtois is equal to it. And that is how that one finished. A fantastic result. A 1-1 draw. We've got the away goal. So we are in a good, really good position to advance actually just need to keep our heads in the second leg you know a nil nil draw do it we're in the driver's seat we just need to make sure that we don't make any daft decisions make sure that they don't score because then we are in trouble <laughs> all right but that's not for another week and we'll move on to league action yet again as we're taking on Schalke Marcus Antonio with the ball now he's just going to try and bring this forward no real options everybody's being marked so he's just going to drive into box and now Guerrero runs in field Marcus Antonio finds him oh it's a delicate little finish oh I'm a big fan of that You'll see in the replay here, I thought the pass was a little too close to the keeper, but the keeper hesitates, Rafa doesn't, and he just dinks him like a mug. Marcus Antonio driving us forward again, lays it off to Ricky J. Jones, he takes a touch, he takes a strike. Ricky J. Jones, I'm running out of words to describe this kid. Look at this, no hesitation from him at all, he sees the goal, he knows where he wants to put it, he puts it there. And now Schalke, a bit shell-shocked by the double, Belfordil picks the ball up here, does really well to spin his man, goes for the straight, but it's a good hand there from Hugo to tip that around. Tom Davies now going to lay this off to Paulson. Rick Van Drongelen is going to try and make a tackle. Referee is going to give that as a free kick. And I'm not sure whether you know, if the AI has a free kick within 20 yards, 25 yards, they don't miss. So this is going to fly into the top corner. Spoilers, 
You know, every single time, every single time the AI has a free kick within 20 to 25 yards, it goes in, and I will promise that. So they've just scored, and we're going to keep the kickoff in, which only means good things or bad things if they win the ball. You never know. Jatter in field two. Ricky J. Jones going to hold this up. Lay it off to Ramadan Pospisil. It's been a while since we've seen him. He's just going to take it forward. Lay it off to Ricky J. Jones. He's got a lot of men around him. Just going to drive into the space here. Still a lot of men around him. No real options. Going to drive into space. Lay it off to Willick. Willick to Marcus Antonio, takes a touch, takes the strike, instant reply. Spazzle now coming forward with the ball, he's got Willick on the overlap. Willick now just going to try and take it to the byline, back heels it into the path of Marcus Antonio. Antonio now going to take it to the byline, Willick cuts it on to his left, but it's just wide of the post. Camavinga now with the ball, he's going to run forward, tap that off to Joe Willick, and look at the space between the two centre-backs here, he's going to run into that, we've saw him caught on his left in the first half, how about the right in the second, same result. <laughs> Antonio with the ball now. He's just going to wait for some options. Ricky's making a run. Antonio over the top. Ricky's going to take a touch into the bottom corner. It's a lovely goal. Are you sure this kid's 17 and not 35 and like has years worth of experience at the top level? Are we sure about this? Great goal. Great ball over. Touch. It's from a really tight angle, but Ricky knows where the goal is. Coming forward with Philip. He taps it off to Davies. Davies to Paulson. Paulson back to Philip. His first shot is blocked. He are going to win the header. Drops to Davies. Good first touch. Strikes it on the volley, but Hugo can tip that around. Gestein here is going to pick the ball up in a ton of space. Because there's nobody tracking him. He's going to cut inside his man right there. Rick Van Drongel is going to try and make a block, but he misses it, and he can slam in to make it 4-2. It doesn't make a difference because we won the game anyway. 4-2 against Schalke, and now it's probably the biggest game of our season second leg of the Champions League 1-1 we need to prevent Real from scoring easier said than done so Madrid in their all black kick gonna have a throw in here in field to Memphis Depay Depay can turn lay it off to Valverde in a ton of space and uh, yeah easier said than done like I said what I've just noticed about this goal is the footwork from Valverde right there the way he just shifts that onto his opposite foot to avoid the sliding body of Costas Manolas it's really good work good technique so now we need to win this game. Camavinga infield to Marcus Antonio. It'd be a great chance to get a goal, but Courtois is equal to that ferocious strike. And Davies into Casemiro. Casemiro's cross is blocked, and now he pulls it back to Rodrigo. Rodrigo to Memphis. It's all Real Madrid. <laughs> Thomas Muller now on the edge of the box. Van Drongelen can stick a foot in and maybe ping this forward. Don't forget, we have to win this game now because of that away goal. Camavinga now can play this long to Iago Aspas, who is lurking. Iago Aspas, bit of work to do from this angle, but he's sold Davies. See you later, son. No real options. He's going to have to shoot. Cortar can save with his feet. Marcus Antonio driving into the Madrid half. Good ball to find Iago Aspas. Iago Aspas going to have to shoot from there. No real options for him, but now we're heading into the 90th. Marcus Antonio again. Rafael Varane gets his tackle wrong, and Iago Aspas is away, maybe. Iago Aspas goes for the shot. He's fluffed it, and that was the last chance of the game. We put up a good fight, but Real Madrid obviously too strong for us. There's a reason why they've won this competition for about 25 times. So our Champions League journey comes to an end right there and we'll get back to focusing on the domestic competitions up next in Bundesliga game as we travelled to the Bay Arena to take on Bayer Leverkusen. Ricky J. Jones now going to backheel that into the path of Camavinga. Camavinga now up the field towards Jatta. Great first time strike into the opposite side of the net. And now Leverkusen coming forward. Diaby to Rajan Nangola. Nangola to Morata who looked a mile offside but somehow managed to get himself back on. Rafa Guerrero now, though, after being pegged back. Ozil, can he find Jada? Yes, he can. Jada hits that. But that one is offside. I know I normally cut to the uh, linesman flagging, but he didn't show up for some reason. Obviously, a bit camera shy. Dennis Suarez now up to Diaby. Diaby crowded out. It's going to drop to Morata. Morata's shot is wayward. Van Drongelen gets that all wrong. And Raja Nangolan can pounce on that and punish the mistake. I don't know what Van Drongelen was even trying to do there. Gets that all wrong. And Nangolan pounces on it and places it. Wagnerman now on the right-hand side. Jack has peeled away. And Wagnerman finds it with an absolutely sensational pass. Jack there one-on-one. Can he finish it off? Yes, he can. Two all before half time, but Jatta, look at him. He's not done. He doesn't want to wait about. So, on the brink of half time, we are coming forward again here as Ozil drifts inside, picks a lovely pass to Rafa Guerrero, who slams it first time into the top right corner to give us the lead. What a mental first half of football this has been.
Ozil with a fantastic pass. I don't have to explain how Ozil passes a ball. Guerrero here lets it run onto his left, slams it, and it goes in via a little kiss of the bar. Morata with the ball for Bayern. Now Manolas tackles him, but he somehow doesn't manage to win the ball. Dennis Suarez up to Diaby. His shot blocked. Penalty. And I don't blame this one for a penalty because if you look here, he was sandwiched. <laughs> So it's going to be Alvar Morata to take this penalty to get Leverkusen level again. He goes left, but he's whiffed it. And it's a huge chance gone begging for Bayer Leverkusen. And from the goal kick, from that miss, we have got a highlight of Wagman. Plays that up the wing to Bakary Jatta. Jatta is going to keep the ball. Kamavinga now looking for a run. Ricky J. Jones has peeled away. Ricky J. Jones is in behind. Ricky J. Jones is one-on-one. -on -one. Ricky J. Jones has rounded the keeper. Ricky J. Jones has scored. Diaby now on the wing for Leverkusen. Leobald out there. He can't get the tackle. And Morata skips forward. He goes for a cross. It's blocked. It's a great touch by Dennis Suarez there to really send us all the wrong way. And he does well to finish that off as Ozil now with the ball. This is a crazy game. Ozil over the top to Marcus Antonio. Antonio. Oh, I love that. I absolutely. Oh, that might be one of my favourites. Ricky J. Jones here thanking Marcus Antonio for the assist. I love it here. I love these types of goals over the top. He could have smashed it. He sees his partner in the middle. Absolutely sensational teamwork. And we are going to come forward again here. Kamavinga lays it up to Ricky J. Jones. Ricky J. Jones look in the middle for Joe Willock. And Willock now with a ton of space to run into. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Brilliant team play from Joe Willock there. Really unselfish behaviour to wrap the game up. 6-3 is how that one finished. 6-3. It was a mental game to be a part of. Thank God we came out with a winning end of it. Otherwise, it would have been a very different story. So, that's how that one finished. And we'll move on to the semi-final of the DFB Pokal. And we took on Augsburg. 90 minutes possibly separate us from another DFB Pokal final. But Augsburg don't want to let that happen. But Agu here wins the ball back right on his own byline. And now maybe we can break away. This is Renato D'Souza making his debut in this game. And he's skipped past the man. He's looking to make a name for himself. And in the middle, you've spotted the big man. It's Simon Torodder. Put a ball in towards him. And he won't miss. Look at Torodder here. Good ball in from the debut boy. And he leaps like a majestic salmon to meet that. To get his head on it. Pedersen here puts that in the middle. Marcus Antonio's attempted to go for the ball, but he has missed out on it. And Goethe in field to Ginchek. He's going to go down. And do you remember what I said about four or five minutes ago about an AI having a free kick within 20, 25 yards? So you know exactly what's about to happen. Over the wall. In. Every single time. Every I would put money on it. I would put money on it. So we've got a corner from our left-hand side. We're going to drill that in the middle towards Lars Bender. Great header. Straight into the bottom right corner. Strut your stuff, Lars. Strut your stuff. Augsburg have the ball in our box. Now, I'm not even going to attempt to say that name, but he does slay it off to Pathientha. Does well to turn, but Lloris is equal to the shot. Now, Gomez now upfield to Toroda. Toroda to Willock. Willock. Renato de Souza is in behind. Renato de Souza has already got an assist. He's one-on-one. -on -one. No options. He's got to go himself. He does go himself and he buries it. What a debut for this kid. Remember the name, Renato de Souza. Felix Agu now running down this left-hand side. There's no options in the middle, so he's got to hold it up. Uh, he does attempt to cross it. It was probably the wrong decision. Souza can flick that back to Agu, who puts it in first time right on the head of Toroda. You expect him to score them. Mario Goetze with the ball. I'm surprised he's still playing. He goes back to Guezzo. Guezzo to Baze first time. Up to Alcacen, who slams that into the back of the net. 3-2 in the 90, but it's too little too late. As the ref blows his whistle, we are through to our second consecutive DFB Pokal final. We are looking to go back to back, and that final will be coming up at the end of the episode, so stay tuned for that. And we'll move on to our next game, and the final game of these highlights. And would you believe it, it all came full circle. Our first league game of these highlights was Leipzig, and our last game of these highlights like as RB Leipzig. God, isn't that spooky? Not really, it's just a coincidence. Justin Cliver going to pick this up on the wing now. Pulls it back towards Bentancur. Bentancur in the middle to Paco Alcacer. No mistake about it. Absolutely slams it into the corner. If you remember the first game, we actually lost 4-0 to these. So we're just trying to avoid that this time. Ozil to Iago Aspas. Aspas gives it back to Ozil first time. He's made a fucking mess of that one, hasn't he? Rafa Guerrero now drills it infield to Willock. Willock first time to Marcus Antonio. Antonio to Ozil. Ozil lays it off to Iago Aspas. Aspas now driving it forward. It won't be 4-0 again. Up the boys. <laughs> I actually wanted this pass to go all the way down to Jatta, but, you know, guess I can't complain that my pass didn't go where I wanted it to. 
Corner in from the left hand side, in towards Iago Aspas, ton of space, nobody's marking him, we'll take that. Cliver now again, he seems to be architecting our problems as he skips infield. Ben Yedder, nobody marking him. Somebody pick him up. Nobody goes near him. And Vassan Ben Yedder is going to punish you if nobody closes him down. We'll have a look at this again. Look at this. He picks the ball up. Nobody goes close. Oh, that is terrible defending. Willick now going to pick this ball up infield to Marcus Antonio. Antonio turns, gives it to Iago Aspas. He takes a touch, hits it right at Galaxy. Iago Aspas with his back to goal. It's a good tackle, but Rafa Guerrero is going to show the strength and determination to get in front of his man. Take it towards the byline. Can he pick a pass? He can jatter too many men around him, and that is snuffed out. We're getting into the dying stage of the game here as Ozil pulls that forward towards Iago Aspas. Bit wide, tries to hit it, Galaxy, oh it's trickling, oh he's just got there ahead of it. And we head into the 90th with the game still in the balance with a minute left of added time. Wagnerman now driving us forward up the field towards Bakary Jatta. Bakary Jatta lays it in field to Iago Aspas, nobody with him, he's got to go himself. He's got round his man, he's won it! Iago Aspas has won it with the final touch of the game. He's won the game, look at the Leipzig players in the background, they know they've just lost it. Iago Aspas has single-handedly just won us this game. I don't know how he's managed to sneak around his man, but there you see the curl straight into the bottom corner. He shouldn't be scoring from that angle, but he does really, really well. And that's why he is the league's top scorer. What a man. As Williams kicks his off, the ref blows his whistle. Final kick of the game, like I said. And that is how that one finishes with Iago Aspas picking up the match ball. And what a way to finish these highlights. We are finally done. My throat is beginning to hurt. I'm going to go drink some water. So, after 17 games, that is the end of these highlights. Alright, so we're done with the highlights. And we've got two games left uh, at the end of this season. As you're probably aware, if you watch the highlights, we are through to our second consecutive the FB Pokal final. We're looking to go back to back and retain our our prize money pretty much. But we've got one more league game left. It is against Hertha Berlin. Uh, as you can see right here. We play Werder Bremen in the final by the way. I, didn't, I don't think I brought that up. But the reason why we are doing this final league game of the season against Hertha Berlin, and mainly because it is the final league game of the season against Hertha Berlin, is because of this. If we go all the way up, you can see there, there's Hertha Berlin in third. There's us in second, only separated by three points, and obviously Bayern Munich have ran away with... Oh, wait, no, they haven't. We are still in with a chance of somehow winning the Bundesliga. We need a miracle. We need to beat Hertha Berlin, and we also need Bayern to beat, I think it's Mainz, yeah, they play Mainz, who are currently all the way down in 15th place. So we need a minor miracle, but we're still in with a chance. So yeah, we need to win. Uh, we need Bayern to lose? I'm not sure. Can a draw do it? What's our goal difference like? If we, if we win and they draw, oh, their goal difference is absolutely insane. So we need a loss. A draw for them and a win for us was put us both on 72 points. And their goal difference is a lot better than ours. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we need a we need a loss for Bayern and we need a win. This team that we're going to... That's not the team that we're going to go... Oh, yes, we are going with that team. I've completely forgotten. Uh, because I believe Rafael Guerrero has got himself suspended. Yes, he has. Brilliant. So this team we're going to go with... Uh, I'm just going to point out this guy, Gormis here, uh, you, he's one of our youth players and you can see he's a pretty fucking good youth player to have, he's quick, he's got good shooting, he's got good dribbling, I don't think he's scored yet, um, but he's just working and, and uh, you know, he's, he's quietly putting in some good performances, uh, same with De Souza here, you met him as well, he scored on his debut uh, in the cup, I think it was it against Augsburg, I think it was, um, but this team is slowly starting to gain shape here. Joe Willock has came in, and I, I actually, I actually really like Joe Willock. To be fair, he's came in and he's done a job. This is the final game for two of our players, Simon Terodde. Well, final league game. Simon Terodde and Aaron Hunt here are both retiring after this 
game. So we are going to try and bring them off the bench uh, just for some nostalgia purposes. And uh, we, we've proven in the highlights that Simon Toroda has still got it. Uh, he scored. I'm sure he he was in the cup as well. Because I'm sure De Souza, uh, De Souza, I'm going to get that name. I'm going to change the way I said that name every single time. But I'm pretty sure De Souza got an assist on his debut as well. For Tarada because he was just in the middle, like a you know, like a six foot four Goliath. How tall actually is he? So I couldn't do that again. <laughs> so let's get into this final game of the season, shall we? We're at home against Hertha Berlin. We are still in with a very slim chance of winning the league. It's still possible. It's highly unlikely, but it's still possible. Here we go. It's probably the biggest game of our journey so far we are in with a chance of becoming Bundesliga champions yet again well not yet again not yet again for me but yet again for 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 Hamburg they've won it before but I haven't right now the Bundesliga plate because it's not really a trophy the plate is somewhere between Munich and uh Hamburg I'm pretty sure they're relative aren't they relatively close where's the middle of that I don't know well, there's my former player, Luis Javier Suarez. I think he's like third top scorer in the league right now, which, uh, you know, I would be scared about, but Iago Aspas is top scorer, so don't really care. All right, so we are going with Hugo Lloris in gold, back four of Timmy Boy, Leobold, Rick Van Drongelen, Kostas Manalas, and Joshua Wagnerman. Midfield three, Marcus Antonio, Eduardo Camavinga, and Joe Willock. And the front three, Biakari Jatta, Gomez, and Iago Aspas up top. The reason why I've forgotten Gormis's first name, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> All right, so her to go with Castiles and go back for Estepinian, Quadi. I can't see that. Lime is there. Palacios and Rabiot and uh, Cunha as attacking midfielder with Suarez and Malin up top. That defence went far too fast. Cordy, Ginter and Zifuik. That defence, fucking hell. It didn't give me a chance to read it. We are underway. Let's do this, boys. Like I said, minor miracle. But we are still in with a chance of becoming Bundesliga champions. Palacios to Matthias Cunha, Cunha to Malin, Malin to Suarez, Suarez to... I did not see that. What did that say? <laughs> I couldn't see that name. Joe Willock, Bakary Jatter in a ton of space and Willock finds him. Bakary Jatter gives us the lead on the 20 minute mark. It's our first foray forward into the Hearth of third. And look at that, Bakary Jatter. He has become, he's, he's, he's crawled his way up in my opinion. Like he was, like I'm going to be honest with you. Him and Kittle were my two, okay I need to replace these guys. But Bakary Jatter over the course, I'd say over the second half of the season, he's flourished. And we are, and you know, Bakary Jatter's got this thing where he doesn't score for a while. But then when he does score, he scores game after game after game after game. And he's doing it, he gets 13 goals. And I'd say... 10 of those have came in the second half of the season. We're doing our bit. We don't know how Bayern are doing. Uh, news should be filtering in through the ground. People have got their... Uh, remember when they used to have the big radios? Palacios to Estupinian. It's, uh, it's a very long name. Back to... Uh, can, can you see that white? Can you see the name above his head? Because I can't there. That's, just, that's literally just a blur. Oh, fuck right off. What is the point? What is the point? Fuck right off. You fucking dick. I love those goals. Always against me. Never for me them ones. Love that. These ones always go against... You're not giving him a 360... Really? Oh, wow. Look at this goal. It's so cool. Let's give him a 360 replay. He's six yards out for fuck's sake. Look, I say this every time, but I really wish there was a way I could turn those replays off. I hate them. I've loved managing in Germany. It's been different and stuff like that. You know, I've enjoyed... You know, we're, um, facing these new teams. Some teams I've never fucking heard of before. But um, that's the one thing I've disliked about managing in Germany. The, the Premier League, at least in last year's game, I don't know whether it has it in this year, that replay just didn't exist. But this one, you hit anything on a volley, on a half volley, it could be from a yard out, and they will give you this 360 replay like it's the best goal somebody's ever scored. Like they've just scored a Roberto Carlos free kick. Joe Willock here, going for a bit of a run. Willock trying to cut it onto his right. He sat his man down. It's a great pass. Marcus Antonio, he can't finish it from a tight angle. I think he was offside anyway, but that's good play from Joe Willock, that. Joe Willock to Iago Aspas. 
got Eduardo Camavinga bursting through. He's done well. Can he lay that off to Iago Aspas? Aspas tries to just take it around him. He's going to get that. He's going to pick it up. He's going to keep the ball. And it's in Iago Aspas. Oh, you love to see it. That's why he's the league's top scorer. He might be 33. He might be on the, on the quote, decline. But he's still a ruthless goal scorer that we didn't see at Liverpool, but we started to see at Celta Vigo. And that's why, look at that, he loses it there, but he's like, fuck you, mate. That's my ball. Bang in. Love to see it. I'm getting texts from all over the place. Leave me. I'm just going to turn my phone over. Go away. <laughs> Go away. It's Hamburg time. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> we might be 2-1. It might be a bit early, but let's give these boys half an hour that they deserve. Simon Toronto comes on. Aaron Hunt comes on. Let's do it, boys. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Probably not going to be the last time we see them. I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably start Simon Tolodda in the cup final next week. Uh, probably not Aaron Hunt. Um, Aaron Hunt, I, I, just don't, I don't think he's got the legs for it anymore. Uh, Simon Tolodda, we all know how he works. Buying a tunnel up, so that, uh, that's dead. Uh, so, doesn't look like we're going to win the league. But we've, uh, we've come close and we still have the chance to finish second. Here they come. Let's give them a st stand and evasion, boys. Here we go. We all know how I feel about Simon Torada. We all know I've got a lovely relationship with that guy. I'll sit back down. <laughs> Marcus Antonio picks the ball up there. It's been foul, but he's going to keep hold of it. Simon Torada. Lovely first touch. Simon Torada. He's going out with a bang. Simon Torada. What a way to say goodbye. My most loyal servant over the years. I love this guy. Honestly. What a, what a goal scorer. Oh, what a first touch. I, I tell you what, I've never saw Simon Toronto take a first touch like that. <laughs> I've never saw him do that. But he saved it for the big occasion. Oh, what a man. Here we go, Aaron. Let's go, son. Look, see what I mean? He's just hes just not got the legs for it. <laughs> like, Tirada, he proved that he can still move with that first touch. Ah, he's just fell over. Lee Bald. I see you, Seaman. I see you. I see you. I see oh, oh, we're outnumbered here. Estupinian. Out wide, Vagdaman. Look at that. Love to see it. Janet forward. Simon Tirada's going to pick that up. Aaron Hunt's gone. Go, Aaron! Win it! Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. That would have been perfect. Lima here. He's going to want to bring this forward. The game's over. Uh, he's gone back. Ref should blow the whistle there. And unless there's been a massive turnaround in Munich, uh, we're not going to get any title celebrations, which we aren't. We have finished second in the league. Bayern Munich once again have that stranglehold on German football. Um, but we are getting there. We are getting there. You know, second this season. Still can win... Uh, the DFB park out for the second time so if we can just make that our competition you never know <laughs> we could do that all right so here we go the final of the DFB park out we're looking to go back to back champs baby let's see how we got here so as always we start off in round two by beating FC Schalke 3-1 then in the next round we got put against SV Darmstadt pretty solid game 3-2 in the quarters our biggest win was against FC Bayern obviously beating them 2-0 then in the semis beat Augsburg again 3-2 we've had some pretty close games in this and now here we are in the final against Werder Bremen who I'm pretty sure are our rivals I'm not sure I don't know whether it was Werder Bremen or Wolfsburg it was one of them um I remember somebody in the comments said uh you know they're they're, they're actually quite big rivals so uh I don't really care about them though, because we're just the better team. So, so let's get into this game. Before I do, let's just make sure it's not uh, rolls captain Simon Torada. Let's get into this game. Finish the season off. We've had a bit of a disappointment uh, at the end of the Bundesliga season, but let's get some gold. Let's retain our gold, shall we? Let's do this. A final. Of the German call. Look at that. The, the, the T4. Miroslav Klose at the Werder Bremen end. We haven't got anyone, I don't think. Werder Bremen versus Hamburger in the final. We were here last year, boys. We know what it's like. Most of you even played in that game, I'd say. Most of you. You would have. You would have. You would have. You would have. 
you would have we've got quite a lot of experience when it comes to this game they're going with Pavlenka in goal that's all then Michael Bradley fucking hell he gets everywhere we've got a back it's taking its time come on back four I do to Plak LS and Visor midfield three and Bradley Gross Friedel and Rashika Egestan and Balados as the front three is that Pascal Gross from uh, Brighton? And we are going with Hugo Lloris in goal. Back four of Joshua Vagerman, Costas Manalas, Rick Van Dronglen and Timmy Boy Leobold. Midfield three of Camavinga, Marcus Antonio and Mesut Ozil as the ten. And then Bakary Jatta, Rafa Guerrero is back after suspension. And Simon Torada is the captain in his final ever game for us and in professional football. <laughs> He's going to score. I can, I've just got this feeling. Simon Torada is going to score after a cross from Bakary Jatta. You you heard it here first. There, the cup final is underway. I was going to say the FA Cup. The DFB Pokal Cup final is underway. Let's do this, boys. Let's get this win. Let's send Simon Torada out on a high because that's what he deserves. Man, alas. Marcus Antonio here. Going to try and wait for Rafa Guerrero and he has. Nobody really in the middle. There is now. There he is. Simon Torada. Oh, he's missed the ball. Bakary Jatta back in. Simon, get there. Oh, <laughs> oh that's that's wayward. Urzel's going to pick that up. He's going to get his head down. Torada is just about on side. We know how deadly he is. Stop the ball. Bang. Oh, my God. He's too good to retire. Please don't leave me, Simon. Please don't leave me. My audacity is glitching a bit there. Hang on. Let's just calm it down. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. <laughs> my audacity... My, uh, Microphone recording software there was a bit glitchy. Hang on, it's still got. Hang on, let's stop recording that and uh, restart it because I'm not a fan of how it's glitching. Can't believe that. Audacity there just fucking took away from Simon to Rodder scoring again. What a man. What a man. Oh god, I love him. God. That's my captain. That's my captain. Please don't leave me. <laughs> Please. I'm hoping after this game he's gonna fucking. He's gonna say, you know what, I really enjoyed that. I don't want to retire. And I will celebrate. Rashika up the field. Rick, perfect. Absolutely perfect, Ricky boy. He's away, yep. Yeah. Bakary, he's just going to keep going. He's just going to keep going here. Yeah. Bakary, Chatter. He's just run the entire length of the pitch. He's cut inside. He's fucking scored! Bakary, Chatter has just run the length of Berlin to get to the goal. And we're 2-0 up within 25 minutes. And it looks like we're going back to back. Don't quote me on that. Because it's going to come back to bite me in the arse. He saw what his, what his legend can do. He saw what his hero can do. Simon Torada cutting inside. And he's done the exact same thing. He's done the exact same thing. Placed it into the bottom corner. 2-0 up. Hamburger in complete control. Guerrero here. What does he want to do here? Oh, he's, oh, he's turned him inside out. He's going all the way. He's not going all the way. He's not going to score from there, but you know. Tim's on the overlap. He uses him. Great ball. Great ball! Ozil! It's 3-0. It's 3-0. Ozil's there. I'll tell you what. I don't think I've ever seen him score at Edda before, but he's done it, and let's whack it out. Where is it? Come on, Ozil. Get the M out. There you go, son. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Rafa Guerrero and Tim Leobold are causing, causing riot down this left-hand side. They are so quick. They are so good at crossing the ball, for fuck's sake. We all know how I feel about Tim Leibold's crossing. We all know how I feel about that. But that right there is a prime example of what Tim Leibold can do. And there is the full-time whistle. Hamburg go back to back. Two-time DFB Pokal champions in this save. And both on the fucking bounce. Simon Torada is leaving us. But he's left us in the best possible place he can. Up to second in the table. Two back-to-back -back DFB Pokals. He's got a goal in the final. And we are going to send him out the best way that we could. By letting him lift the trophy in his retirement match because I absolutely love Simon Torada and I don't want him to leave. This final is now renamed the Simon Torada final because it's all about him. It's all about the Goliath as he lifts 
Oh, as he lifts the DFB Pokal into the night sky, we say goodbye to Simon Torodda. It's a bittersweet moment. I don't want him to leave me. Please don't leave. Please. Parade it, boys. Everybody, just back off. Let Simon Torodda have this. This is his moment. Let him parade in front of the Hamburg fans. He's adoring. That's the wrong fans. FIFA, that was the wrong fans. <laughs> champion, champion, ole, ole, ole. All right, so, unfortunately, there was no notification from Simon saying, oh, yeah, I'll stay. So, uh, now I'm sad. <laughs> well, at least we sent him out on a... Uh, on a, on a win and a trophy win. But that is where I'm going to finish this for two days. Madrid win the Champions League for like the fucking 65th time. If you did enjoy this, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm hoping now to get back into weekly uh, videos. I'm hoping anyway. Um, I don't like to know how long this is going to be. I haven't started editing it yet, which is worrying because now I have to. Um, I can't put it off anymore. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, this full season special. Hopefully I won't have to do one of these again. Hopefully I won't just disappear for like a month. But that's why I'm going to finish it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And until next time, have a nice day. Oh.